Okay, start. Hello, children, and welcome back. Now, today you have science, and the topic for today is neighborhood, places, and people, chapter 4, page 29. So, let's read this important places in the neighborhood. So, every day we need different things such as milk, bread, eggs, vegetables, and fruits. Sometimes we need to buy new clothes, shoes, gifts, books, medicines, and other things. When we fall sick, we need a doctor. Children need to go to school. Every good neighborhood has different places where we can get things we need. In class one, we learned about some of these places. Now let us find out more about these places. First, let me tell you, what is a neighborhood? The place nearby our house or around our house is called our neighborhood. Every good neighborhood has different places where we can get things that we need in our daily life. I will read and explain to you in detail. First of all, For example, every good neighborhood has a market. Market. Now in a market, you can buy green vegetables from the Green grocer. Grocer. So, in a market, you can buy green vegetables from the green grocer. Medicines from the chemist and this way we can buy pens, pencils, erasers, sharpeners at a stationery shop. In the same way we can buy rice, wheat, bread, jam, sugar, pulses, biscuits and many other food items at a grocery store. And at a milk booth, we get milk, curd, paneer, and cream. And we buy vegetables from a green grocer. So at a chemist shop, we get medicines. So in this way, whatever we need in our daily life, we get from the market. So market is an important place in our neighborhood. So the next is the school. Next place which is very important and should be in our neighborhood is school. So it is important for a neighborhood to have schools for children. We study and play in school. Children learn many new things and good habits too. A teacher teaches us in school. The teacher teaches the children in school. School is a place where children study and learn many new things where and become smart. Therefore, every neighborhood should have a good school. So the next is the post office. We can keep in touch with our near and dear ones who live far away through letters. At the post office, we get postcards, 
stamps and envelopes that we use to send letters. Sometimes people need to send money from one place to another. They can do so by sending money orders through a post office. So we can also send parcels and greeting cards by post. So, post office is another important place in our neighborhood. A post office helps us to send and receive letters and parcels and help us to connect with people who are in far away places. We also get postcards, stamps and envelopes to send letters. So in this way, post office is an important place in the neighborhood. Now next is the police station. A police station is another very important place in the neighborhood. Policemen work hard to keep the neighborhood safe. In case of a theft, fight or any other trouble, we can call the police for help. We need to dial 100, that is 100, to call the police at times of need. So every neighborhood has a police station. The policemen help to keep the neighborhood people safe. If there is a case of robbery or any other trouble in the neighborhood, we need to dial 100 to call the police for help. So the next important place that we have in our neighborhood is the bank. We need to open a bank account to be able to keep money in a bank. We keep our money and jewelry safe in the bank. To keep jewelry, we need to rent a locker in the bank. So, bank is the place where we can deposit or withdraw our own money. We can also keep our valuables like jewelry safe in the banks. Now, next is hospitals and dispensaries. We visit a doctor whenever we fall sick or get injured. Doctors and nurses work at a hospital. In smaller neighborhoods, there are smaller hospitals known as dispensaries. An ambulance is a special vehicle that carries the sick and injured to the hospital. We need to dial 102 to call an ambulance. Now, in your neighborhood, if someone is sick or someone meets with an accident, so what will you do, children? You will have to call the ambulance. So to call the ambulance, you have to call, dial 102 so that the ambulance will take the sick or the injured to the hospital for proper treatment. So, it is another important place where the sick and the injured are taken for treatment. The doctors and the nurses take care of them till their recovery. So, if a person is serious or badly injured in the neighborhood, we should dial 102 to call the ambulance so that they can be taken to the hospital to get proper treatment. Now next is the fire station. Fire station. In case of a fire, we call a fire station by dialing 101, that is 101. Fire trucks carrying firefighters, water ladders and long water Sorry, ladders and long hose pipes come rushing to the spot of fire. The 
fire is put out by the firefighters. So fire station is another important place that we should have in the neighborhood. Fire station. So, so what will you do if a building or a house in your neighborhood catches fire? So immediately you have to dial 101 to call the fire station. The firefighters will rush to the spot and put out the fire and save the people's life. Firefighters are very brave people. So children, now you must be you must be thorough in this. So what are the uh, places that we have learned? So one by one, I'm going to show you. So one is the market. One is the market. Where you get vegetables, things, and vegetables, medicines, and all the day-to-day, -day, daily items that you use at home and the clothes that you wear and uh, the medicines whatever you need in your daily life that is that you will get from the market so next is the school so school is a place where children go to learn and next is the post office where we can send letters and receive letters and we can also keep our money and we can buy different things like postcards and envelopes and police station. They look after the safety of the neighborhood. Police station is another important place and it looks after the safety of the neighborhood. Now, bank is one of the most important places. Here we can keep our money or our precious jewelry. It is safer to keep in the bank than at home. So the next is the hospital. Hospital is one of the most important places in a neighborhood. So in a hospital, the sick or the injured are taken and looked after by the nurses and the doctor. And fire station, last of all, the fire station. So fire station is also one of the important places in the neighborhood. So it is very important that the neighborhood uh, it is very important for a neighborhood to have a fire station. Children, what will happen to us if we do not have these places in the neighborhood? Can you tell me? What will happen to us if we do not have these places in our neighborhood? We will face difficulty if we do not have these places in the neighborhood. Okay, now on page 3, you have some questions here. So, A. What all can we buy from a green grocer? What all can we buy from a green grocer? Do you know? Can you tell me? We can buy green vegetables and fresh fruits from the green grocer. Next, where would we go to buy stamps and postcards? Do you know where we go to buy stamps and postcards? We have to go to the post office to buy stamps and postcards. And in case of a theft, that is robbery, theft means 
robbery. Which number will you call? In case of a theft, you have to call 100 for the police. You have to call 100 at the police station and the police will come for your help. So in this way, you have learned about the market, about the school, the police station, post office, bank, hospitals and dispensaries, and fire station. So, okay, I hope you have understood. And thank you, children. Hello children, today we are going to learn about the services available in our neighborhood. Hey, this is a beautiful neighborhood. Do you live here children? Yes, this is our neighborhood and it is really beautiful. Your neighborhood is so clean and green. That's right. We throw litter in the bin to keep our surroundings clean and plant trees so that our neighbourhood is green. Your neighbourhood is clean. Your neighbourhood is green. Our neighbourhood is clean and our neighbourhood is green. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? We are going around our neighborhood. Where are you going first? We are going to the hospital. To the hospital? Grandmother is not feeling well. So, she has to stay at the hospital for a few days. We are going to visit her there. Hope she gets well soon at the hospital. What happens at the hospital? Doctors will check grandmother and tell her what medicines to take. The nurses will take care of her and make her feel better. Where will you get medicines for your grandmother? We will get the medicines from the dispensary of the hospital or the chemist shop. Did you know? Small babies and children are taken to the doctor to receive a vaccination shot. Vaccination is an injection given to young children to protect them from some illnesses. Where are you going now? We are off to the police station with father. The police station? Father has lost his phone. And we are going with him to tell the police about it. What do the police do? The police protect us and catch robbers who steal our things. And the traffic police controls the traffic on the roads. We should always help the police. Look, there's the fire station. What is the fire station? The fire station has many red fire engines and firefighters. Firefighters put out fires and save people's lives. Sometimes they climb a ladder if the building is tall to reach people on the top floors. I like the firefighters. They seem so brave. We like the firefighters too. They are brave and they fight fires to save our lives. What's this? This is a telephone booth. We use it to make phone calls when we are away from home. 
most neighborhoods have telephone booths which you can use to phone people. Some neighborhoods also have cyber cafes where you can use a computer to send emails and keep in touch with friends. Where are you going now? We are going to the market with mother. What's in the market? There are many shops in the market. At the market, we can buy many things that we need for our daily use. Where are you going now? We are going to a special place. A special place? Where is that? Come along, we will show you. Hey, I like this place. Where are we? Here we play. Here we learn. Here we meet our friends and teachers too. Can you guess where we are? It's your school. That's right. We are at school. Where will you go now? It is summer vacation and school is closed. But I miss my friends, so I want to send letters and cards to them. Let's visit the post office. Oh, the post office. What will you do at the post office? We will buy some stamps, envelopes and postcards to send to our friends. We can put our letters and postcards in the post boxes that are kept outside the post office. What happens when we put our letters or postcards in the post box? The postmen take our letters to the post office. There, they sort the letters by area name or country name. Then the postmen of each area take their area letters and give them to the right person. We can send letters and packages, telegrams and greeting cards to our friends next door, our cousins in another city or to our friends in another country. That's wonderful! These days, people send couriers to one another. It is sometimes faster than sending letters or packages.